Bob, I got to ask you, do you agree with the greatest center in NBA history? No way, no how. Greg, the only <laughs> thing more outdated than Kareem's hook shot is that take by Kareem. <laughs> what is he talking about? LeBron, no one's saying if LeBron's going to has to win a championship to be considered an all-time great. He's an all-time great. But we're talking about an all-time Laker great. Everybody in that picture, Greg, have won a championship wearing the Lakers uniform, except LeBron James. Don't tell me he came here for four years with the idea that he doesn't have to win and Laker fans are just cool that LeBron's going to have his semi-retirement here and make movies and, 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 and do Hollywood, and that's all that matters. And Laker fans who haven't made the playoffs in six years, including last year with LeBron James, is happy just to have him here. That's hogwash. There's no way Laker fans believe in that. They expected when they got LeBron James that they were going to compete and, and win a championship with one of the greatest players who all, who've ever played this game. So for Kareem to just give him a pass and say LeBron James is cool and it doesn't matter and he doesn't have to win in L.A. is such a defeatist attitude. I'm shocked as a guy who won six titles, five with the Lakers and one in Milwaukee, that he would just – Poo-poo the idea that LeBron doesn't have to win. So I'm not buying it. I, I want no part of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's idea that LeBron James gets a pass in Los Angeles. Obviously, LeBron, uh, uh, Kareem doesn't pay for tickets because it's just cool to just have him around. <laughs> People pay money, and they want to see the Lakers win a championship. We, we got a hater in the house, Greg. I'm yes, not a hater. hater. hater in I'm the not. house. LeBron James has nothing to prove. Does he want to win? Wearing that purple and gold uniform, absolutely. He does have yes, something he to does. prove. But for you to sit here and say that he has something to prove after all that he's done is foolishness. And for a guy like Kareem to look at that photo and for him to say LeBron James has nothing to prove, I'm going to side with him. Why? Yeah. Because he understands what it takes to put on that uniform. He wore it for quite some time. And when I last time I checked, I looked at that photo. There was only one guy in that photo that won it the first time he put that uniform on for the first season. And that was Magic Johnson, his rookie year. He did that. Everyone else, it took time for them to actually You're win gonna, a championship. LeBron James uh, all, and, and look Magic's at, rookie year, is that what we compare? All to? I'm saying is there was one guy in that photo that won it the first time he put on that Laker uniform. And that was Magic Johnson. Now that LeBron James has... A, 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 a sidekick, if you will, in Anthony Davis, of course. <laughs> Davis of course, the, the option and the ability for him to win the championship is going to heighten even more. The expectations have always been through the roof. Why? Because we're talking about a three-time NBA champion. We're talking about a three-time NBA Finals MVP. Like, we're talking about one of the, arguably one of the greatest players to ever play the game. I believe it's Michael Jordan, but my, LeBron James is right there. So I'm, everything that you're saying, yes, you're going to say he has something to prove because you want to see him win because he's been so great for so long. His last last year, his stat line, 27, 8, Greg, and 8. they didn't make the playoffs. He missed really? a million games, Rob, please. He missed – he missed. He didn't play in 27 the game. He was injured for 18 of them. Like Rob, let's let's be realistic. Had LeBron James continued to play, we wouldn't even be having this conversation yeah. because they would be. They would have made the playoffs. Greg, did you watch the end of the season? I did watch did, the did, end. Did of the you season. watch when they lost to the Grizzlies and to the Suns and to the Hawks? Those were all games they had a chance to win and make the playoffs. They, they did. Did LeBron play? The, he did. He did, right? He did. They okay. had dug themselves in such a hole. And, and when you're playing on teams and you're, you're finding ways to lose games, it is hard to right the ship in just a matter of 20-some-odd games after the All-Star game, All-Star break. So don't give me, don't give me that LeBron James was available and he should have won those games. They should have made yeah. the playoffs with LeBron James. And I'm, here's the other thing. You talk about the three championships. In reality, LeBron, I keep telling you, is the fault. Oh, God. The no. finals failure of all time. Stop. He's Rob. lost more championships than any other former MVP in the, in, in the NBA. And can we see that picture again? Can we see that uh, picture of everybody, all the great Lakers? 
according to Kareem, you might as well add Schmush Parker oh. and oh, oh, to the picture. Right. It's the same thing. Right. Well, oh. Oh. And, and I'm glad you called that picture up. I want you to look at it closely, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, Kobe got to the Lakers when he was 18. Magic when he was 20. Shaq, 24. Jabbar, 28. LeBron got there at 33. Not in his prime at the tail end of it. All those guys, it was easier to win a title when you get there early in your career in your prime. You can't bag on LeBron for this, okay? Jabbar is a thousand percent. No, he's right. not because he's he, not talking about Jason. His first year, he's saying he doesn't have to win. That's he not doesn't true. Have to. Yes, Obviously, he does. You, well, there's a difference. No, between that's what he's you saying. You want to win, no, and you have to. No, LeBron, okay, LeBron, so what happens? LeBron comes here for four years and they don't win. It's a failure. But, okay, so his it's time total, in LA. It's a total failure. Okay, but what does that That's mean? That's what it is. What does it mean? I his time in LA you. was a failure. He's still the second greatest player in No one's in saying NBA he's not history. a great player, but the notion that LeBron doesn't have to win, why wouldn't he want okay, to so win you know what in this a is, Laker Greg? uniform? This is going to be. And Heighton, all right, also on the table, if LeBron were to win, he would be the first player to win with three different organizations. Which would elevate you. Yeah. So don't tell me he has nothing to okay, play for. Okay, so Rob, what happens? Have... They win one title in four years. Then you know what it is. He only won one no, title. No, it's not. Kobe won multiple. I just Shaq told you what it is. So all he you would want be is the one first title. Player to ever do that. Kawhi Leonard now has a chance to do it if he wins with the Clippers. He would be the first player. That's huge. Are you kidding me? Is I don't. But the Lakers aren't the favorites to win. They don't have the best team. Nobody would say they're the favorites right now to win the championship. They have the best team. None of the numbers bear that out. That's not what. Kareem hey, by the way, the about. rest of their roster, Rob, is not very good. I don't. I mean, I, listen. You want to blame Jeannie Buss or uh, Rob Palinka? That's fine. LeBron does not have the best team in the league. They're going to be very good. They should be advancing deep into the playoffs. But you can't call it a failure if they don't win a title. That's just not fair. This is what Rob is going to do. I've noticed he doesn't like greatness. Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Right? Stephen Curry. Tom Brady. Uh, LeBron. LeBron James. He doesn't appreciate greatness. Not true at all. I think Michael Jordan is the greatest player I ever saw. I think and I covered Michael Jordan. You're, you're more old school. You appreciate the greatness once it's gone. No, it's not. You, you, I, I, when Michael Jordan was playing, I'm sure you gave him all kinds of credit and accolades. I was covering the NBA during that time, and Michael went through the same scrutiny that LeBron has gone through. And people always act like Michael had a red carpet ride through the NBA. People criticized him early in his career. He's just a dunker. He doesn't make anybody Those any better. And, and he can't win. That's what they talked about, Michael Jordan. And then he broke through and became... I was there. I watched the guy's career. So all I'm saying is... I appreciate greatness, but I think today everybody thinks everything that happens today is better than anything that's ever happened. LeBron James is a great player, but he was in Cleveland for 11 years and won one championship. Is that his fault? No, I'm just, my point is, before you go around and saying this guy's the greatest of all time, and everybody doesn't want to count his losses, he's lost six championships to be such a great player. He's lost. How many has Michael Jordan lost? I mean, he lost a ton before but the fi- zero, before the finals. He got knocked out in the first round more times than LeBron has. He's lost six championships, but his ability to get to the finals has been as impressive yeah. as most guys' ability to even win. A so, final. so you're a Buffalo Bills fan? You no. like Marv Levy and the Bills? No, because they went to four straight Super Bowls. They didn't Marv win Le- any. Why? Marv Levy they didn't must, win any. Marv Levy must be the greatest coach they didn't who ever coached in the NFL. They didn't win any. LeBron James has won. That's what you you fail to acknowledge the fact that he did win. You just want to focus on what he didn't win, which is unfair. Now he's in L.A. Does he want to win? Yes. Does he have something to prove? No, because he's already won. The only thing he has to prove is that he's the best player in the, in the NBA. If he were to win, could that elevate him as far as being the first yes. player who ever won with three different organizations? Yes. So don't tell me you have nothing to play for. He does. Are you saying that if LeBron wins one more title, he elevates above Michael Jordan? You would be able to make a better case for him as yeah. being By the, way, the what all-time happened? greatest player. You, yes or no, Greg? Could you make a you better case? You can make yes. a better case. A better yeah, wait, case. Wait, wait, wait. He's missing better. this. Rob, uh, we're talking about LeBron late in his career here with the Lakers. Do we need to revisit Michael Jordan late in his career with the Washington Wizards? Do we need to no, look at that? Because he missed the playoffs twice. We're also talking about... Tom Brady, 42. He just won a Super Bowl at 41. They have better uh, trainers, equipment, uh, 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 medicine. Everything is better so that those guys have a chance 
to be able to compete later in their career. They didn't have that 20 years ago. So the, the scrutiny is even heightened nowadays. I agree because, that with social media. Because of social media. No doubt about it. So for you to say Jordan was just as highly scrutinized as LeBron James. He was scrutinized. Like as He Jordan. was. He was. But it was nowhere near what we see today because of social media. Were there 24-7 cable news networks? No, there wasn't. Then? Were there shows like this We used like to have to call sports then? phone to get to school. There you go. <laughs> I mean, it's not even close. LeBron is dealing with much more. By the way, let's just quickly revisit this. LeBron was on the cover of Sports Illustrated, I believe, at 16 years old. He has been scot-free off the court. No issues, no uh, arrests, no problems. LeBron has been a model citizen with the glaring spotlight that Greg just talked about. That deserves praise as well. Okay. What do you want, a parade? I just, I, <laughs> yeah, I, I want two parades I don't for know LeBron. What, I mean, one in L.A., one in Cleveland. Let's give him one in Miami, too. I mean, to do the right thing, I think most people do the right thing. And it's good. I'm not knocking him, but I'm not going to give him a parade for doing the right thing. He lives a good life. He's done a lot of good things in the community. I admire all that stuff. I'm just talking about the basketball part. And for Kareem to just give him a pass, I don't feel good about that. Not a, not a champion like Kareem, the all-time leading scorer, and to just be like, well, whatever. Uh, fans are just going to come drink their overpriced beer and bad hot dogs, and LeBron is, can just make a gazillion dollars and do his Hollywood stuff. Okay, that's where we are. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.